Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. I am talking about an over-the-top beautiful. I guess maybe it is a spring day in Florida since uh, the uh, groundhog saw his shadow. It is a Saturday morning out on the dock. This this spectacularly gorgeous Saturday morning. February 3rd, little dog and I have this dock entirely to ourselves. Okay, here's our little sandhill grain couple hearing me rant. So it looks like we do. And we already have green leaves coming out in the trees across the way. The leaves are coming on the trees. These are uh, swamp maples in bloom. So the maples are in bloom. I guess that's the willow trees. Already getting their leaves back. I wish the cypress trees didn't lose their leaves in the, uh, in the winter. So uh, figuring out what to do with this exciting day. I think my baseboards are ready to go pick up for Doomsday Trailer. <clears throat> but, uh, how can I combine my my uh, <clears throat> failing love life wine with a Trump rant today? I just uh, <laughs> they just you know dodging the Trump tards uh, with the various non-women in my life. So, <clears throat> yesterday, my buddy Lee and I, we were out shopping for Florida investment real estate. So, we're looking at this lot, <clears throat> and this woman from across the street comes running over she looks like your average hippie chick she looks she looks like a hippie chick she's wearing her bell-bottom jeans she comes running over there and immediately announces how cool we are that we look so cool that she hopes we buy that lot because she wants some really cool neighbors and she is a little chatterbox she was kind of like I don't know if you take Dulcinea, put on 25 pounds in about 12 years. Uh, you know, long red hair, 20 pounds overweight. Uh, about my age, I'm trying to ignore the 20 pounds and take an immediate liking to each other. I, I mean, this woman, I mean, she was a chatterbox. And within five minutes, we had established that we were, had both been tour guides in Costa Rica. That she was a combination, what was she? A, a combination, I, I guess, world traveler, a real estate investor. Uh, she was a masseuse. You know, all she she just ticked off all of the hippie chick boxes, except she was a real estate investing hippie chick. Uh, she was talking about all the natural herbs that grew in the area, telling us about this bear. There used to be a bear that lived there, and who unfortunately moved out with all these people, such as herself moving in and. I mean, it, it, she sounded like a female version of, of, of Hambone. Uh, as I say, a little heavy uh, on the BMI, but uh, I'm thinking, you know, I, I've got to start getting more realistic. And uh, so I was thinking, so I've got her number. She has my number, and I have her number. And I was already thinking, okay, well, I found my girlfriend uh, that, down here in Florida. And then, I don't know, we've been hanging out for less than 10 minutes. And what was the first comment? Was 
that she really wanted us to buy it because she is so scared that somebody's going to buy that lot and put up a FEMA trailer and put an illegal Mexican in it. So she goes off about the illegal Mexicans and then she, you know, as a selling point for the uh, property, she goes, yeah, and on this side of the street, meaning the side of the street we were looking, looking at, she goes, you can fire your guns over here. She goes, on my side of the street, uh, I can't fire my gun, but she can come over here and, and you can fire your guns all day long on this side of the street. And then she started saying something about four wheel of course, I'm down here in my gator, but you know, talking about how, you know, these goddamn clueless moron four-wheel ATVs that, that you can, you know, you can ride all around on your four-wheeler, you can be shooting your gun off and, uh, and, and running them illegals uh, out of the neighborhood. And I'm thinking, Jesus fucking Christ. Now, I, I never brought up the word Trump. But it was, it was obviously clear to me that the, that, that this hippie chick, nature-loving uh, gardener uh, was a motherfucking Donald Trump supporter. And I uh, crossed her off the list. So, <clears throat> uh, of course, I get back on Pile of Fish. Uh, last night, so I'm, you know, I'm listening to Sandy's show while scrolling through Pile of Fish, and Sandy talking about all the clueless fucking morons and the Trump tards and the conspiracy wackos and, and all of this shit on her show while I'm scrolling through uh, all these clueless fucking morons and, and these conspirator wackos and these Trump guards. But I'm up in New York now, you know, centering in, in Ithaca, New York, you know, going through the Rolodex. So here's this attractive 57-year-old woman. Never seen her before. Shows up. And now she hadn't moved to Ithaca. She had moved to Owego, which is the more... Trump leaning town uh, outside of bugs in a jar. I kind of live halfway between Ithaca and Owego. And uh, <clears throat> so she's moved up from New York City. Her story is that she has moved up from New York City, where I thought everyone hated Donald Trump, you know, to find a simpler life in a small town in, in upstate New York. This woman has a master's degree. Her education level, she, she has a master's degree. She calls herself a project manager, whatever that means. And then in her ad, she goes off that, you know, uh, that she, well, of course she goes off on the anti-vax stuff. <clears throat> She has no desire to ever meet a man who's been vaccinated. And uh, then she goes off, uh, you, you, you know, calling herself a patriot. Uh, I, am a, I am a patriot. Uh, I support President Trump. Three exclamation points and shit. So uh, my... my uh, <clears throat> note to her was, uh, I, I said, it's a goddamn good thing, lady, that you moved to Owego instead of Ithaca, the masked Nazi capital of the world. And I said, I want you to understand I am no limp dick lefty. I have never been, never will be vaccinated and despise Joe Biden all much, almost as much as uh, I, I, I despise your Operation Warp Speed vaxxed up <clears throat> cult hero president. Uh, <clears throat> I said, I am quite sure you will have no trouble finding your new soulmate in Owego, New York. It just is not me. 
And then I'm going through and I can't believe, guys, how many women that, uh, that, that, that I have gone out with years ago. There, there's at least, it, it, it pretty much every woman that I've ever been on a date with in New York from Pile of Fish still have their ads up years later. Years later, uh, the, these women that I've been out with a few times and it's crashed. And I doubt, seriously, if any of you remember Sage Alistair, I uh, got me uh, fixed up with Sage uh, way back uh, in 2019 when I was still shopping. She was, she was looking for a man then. She's looking for a man now. You know, she is this over-the-top hippie chick over-the-top hippie chick, uh, just the personification of a hippie chick. She, she calls herself a tree hugger. Uh, you get to choose what uh, all, all of these. She, she picks tree hugger. She mentions how she watches the Gaia channel that she is, you know, she, she lives to respect and honor Mother Earth and going on and on. And, and she does. She, she has a big organic garden and, and, and is an organic soap maker. She uh, makes CBD oil from the weed she grows on her property outside of Ithaca. I mean, she... Everything about her it is one of these Ithaca hippie chicks. And then he started going through her profile, and there it is. There it is. <laughs> Sage uh, is, now a, uh, is now a Trump supporter, the Gaia channel watching uh, tree hugger. Uh, it, it is a big Donald Trump supporter. You know, college-educated, intelligent, aware woman. Uh, you know, she's all into the... In, in, uh, of course, she's a major, major, major anti-vaxxer, calling the vaccine a bioweapon created in a lab. You know, she she follows that... that uh, wacky shit. She's all in the fucking space aliens. You know, she channels this space alien. Sage was the one, uh, you know, we went out several times that, that I fell completely in love with her daughter. I mean, it was, it was, I was almost as much in love with Sage's daughter as I was with Dulcinea. It, it, it took meeting Dulcinea to get, uh, you know, to get Sage's daughter out of my mind. So I was uh, dating Sage so I could hang out with her daughter. Uh, and Sage contacted, you know, she channels a space alien. So she channeled her space alien and her space alien told her that Hambone is a nice guy. Hambone is a nice guy, but he has not learned to play by the rules. Uh, so she dumped me because her space alien told her to dump me because even though I am a nice guy, I have not learned to play by the rules, which you think for a, uh, a woman like Sage should have been the highest recommendation, but now she has gone trumped hard. Uh, the Ithaca hippie chick poster child. Uh, it has gone fucking trumped hard. Anyway, we could go on with this, but I see some Trump tards approaching the dock, and they probably don't want to listen to this rant. So I need to shut up and uh, get out of here and go get some baseboard from my Trump tard friend. Bye, guys.